Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, I'm making a video, I will make maybe a video once a week just to share the news and views about it. And for sure, you, you like to agree, you don't agree, it's up to, up to you. Uh, however, I will talk today about the news we heard that Turkey decided to join the fight against ISIS. Uh, you know, I hate politics. I believe people who work in politics, they are no good to listen to. I believe all of them, they are corrupt. Uh, it's rare to find someone is not. However, the news here uh, is very interesting for many. For me, it's more scary. Because this is for sure is not a fight against ISIS as we see in the news or they're trying to implement in our head in the news. Like US Turkey plan a new campaign against ISIS. Is it? That's false. Uh, Turkey will never have a campaign against ISIS and will never fight ISIS. Count my words. During the war in Syria, always ISIS and Turkey they are in bed together. All the fighters of ISIS come from Turkey. All the supplies, weapon, you name it, doctors, medicine, medical teams, uh, 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 you know, even even uh, ambulance, you know, oh, oh, everything, everything ISIS they want they purchase to Turkey, and everything Turkey want they purchase from ISIS, which means the oil. Number one, actually, the only country who is buying oil from ISIS is Turkey. It's not a secret. Which means ISIS and Turkey, they are, they complete each other. Turkey is the gate to ISIS for fighters, for money, for supplement, for even weapon, everything. And Turkey have a many benefit from ISIS, and I will count some of them. Just to refresh your memory, people they watch news, but they don't really understand the news. If you go back in the news a little bit, you will see that during the war in Kobani, uh, and always actually not only in Kobani, Turkey refused to give any support against ISIS to the Kurdish. Has refused to contemplate. Returning from a visit to Afghanistan, Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan told journalists it would be wrong for the United States, with whom Turkey is a friend and ally in NATO, to talk of expecting Turkey to support what he described as a terrorist organization. So Turkey, there is no way will support uh, 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 terrorist organization. Who are the, those terrorist organization? Those are the Kurdish who they are fighting ISIS. Remember, during the time he's talking about those Kurdish, they have a peace agreement. Uh, let us say a, a, a settlement that no more attack between us, and we are going through a peace agreement. So they are supposedly not a, not not a, uh, uh, not a terrorist organization no more because you are negotiating with them and they stop attacking you for, for years. But now because ISIS is doing the job, ISIS is attacking Kobani, and ISIS is killing the Kurdish left and right, doing, they are going to do a mass mascara. So Erdogan, he is, he have a plan. Let ISIS do what we cannot do. If we go and attack them, the whole world will go against us. ISIS attack them, they will say terrorist. So the plan of Erdogan is, the agreement between him and ISIS, you clean all the borders of Turkey and Syria for us from the Kurdish. In return, we give you all the supplement you want. Our gates for your fighters will be always open. Our support will be unlimited. And to give you money, we will buy the oil you steal from the land of Syria and from Iraq. This is the agreement which people don't want to understand. So ISIS is doing a big favor to Turkey to, to cleanse the Kurdish from all the, 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 the land which is in the borders between Syria and Turkey and even Iraq. Uh, this is why Erdogan, he was watching the war in, in Kobani and he's having fun. You know, he, he, he actually he expected that the Kurdish would lose big time. He never thought that they would win. This is why even he refused to give the chance to America, to USA and the NATO to use the bases of USA, of, of Turkey, in Turkey uh, to attack ISIS from Turkey. Well, why, why do you want to do that? Okay, you don't want to attack ISIS yourself, fine. How come you refuse to give USA uh, the chance to use the, the base which is their own to attack ISIS, which is going to make it a lot easier? Because simply have an agreement with ISIS. We support each other, we don't attack our, each other, we are friends. This is one ISIS, they attack the city of Al Mosul, they capture more than 70 employees in the uh, in the embassy of Turkey in, in the city of Mosul. Uh, none of them harmed, all of them delivered safe 
to Turkey. All of them, not even one person was hurt. All right, they treat them as kings because simply those are friends. So we need to remember that don't believe in the news when they say to you that Turkey is going to join USA to fight ISIS. This is another joke, another lie. It's the same when Obama, he invited 40 countries and a conference to say what we can do to fight ISIS, but the fact they never, none of them fight. Like who's fighting ISIS? Nobody. After all those conferences, who is the one is fighting ISIS? None. They are just fooling us. They don't want to fight ISIS. Nobody want to fight ISIS. They want ISIS to grow. Uh, the only one is fighting ISIS in the ground is the Kurdish fighters, the Syrian army, and whoever support the, the Assad regime, and simply the, uh, uh, what they call it, uh, the Shia in Iraq. I found this map, which is very interesting in the, uh, in the internet. Uh, this is how Islam started in Mecca, and this is how it, grow, it, it grows by sword. Let us say 90% of the Islamic growth was by sword, especially in the Middle East area. Uh, so here we will see a very interesting map showing you uh, uh, what, what Muslims plan through history. Is Muslims want really to spread religion or they want to, or they want to build a state? Always, always it was about building a state, not spreading religion. Religion is just an excuse. It's a tool to use. And you will notice that the Muslims, the first thing they try to, to accomplish is to control, a, let us say, an important areas. Like here, if we control it, we control the, this exit for the sea. We control the exit for the sea. We control the sea. They controlled all of North Africa. So all the trade business of slavery is through in the, the, in the last few centuries uh, will go through Muslims. And Muslims make fortune from it. All the supplement of the filthy business of slavery was going through the Arab Muslims and they are the one who send them to the white man. And yet the Muslims they say Islam is against slavery. When the fact Islam is the one, one, one of major things in Islam is promoting slavery. Uh, so the plan of, of Erdogan was, in the beginning of the war, Erdogan have a, have a Muslim party which is the Muslim Brotherhood. It is a Muslim Brotherhood party. Uh, Gaza already under the Muslim Brotherhood Party. It's Hamas. They have different names, but they're the same party. Uh, most of Jordan population is Muslim Brotherhood. The war happened or started, let us say, in uh, in, uh, in Libya first. The revolution happened in, in Tunisia, but it was a peaceful one. Then uh, the president here ran away to Saudi Arabia. Then uh, the NATO attacked Libya and get rid of the Qazafi, then the Muslim uh, fighters took over, and until now they are over, and the Muslim Brotherhood at that time, they are already in control of Egypt, all of Egypt, they win the election, and they have the president which is called Mercy. Mercy. So the dream, of, uh, the dream of Erdogan is to make a continued empire all the way from Turkey through Syria by establishing a Muslim Brotherhood state in Syria, getting rid of the regime of the Assad, then take over Jordan, uh, Egypt already in their hand, and Libya already in their hand, and Tunisia actually the first election, the Muslim Brotherhood, they won the election, but fastly they lost again, because as the same as what happened in Egypt, which, which destroyed really the dream of the Muslim Brotherhood. When, when the Muslim Brotherhood in Tunisia lost, and when the Muslim themselves rejected the Islamic government in Egypt, they don't want Islam in Egypt, they want just a secular government, that was a, the destruction of the dreams of Erdogan. So this is the dream of Erdogan. is unable to be true for now, simply because the regime of Syria did not collapse that fast. And the regime of, uh, of uh, the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt collapsed. And the, the regime of the Muslim Brotherhood in Tunisia is coll collapsed too. So things are not working fine. So now Erdogan trying just to build, let us say, a safety zone for himself, his country, against the Kurdish, who there are millions of them inside Turkey already. About 22 million Kurdish live inside Turkey. We are talking about a huge number of the population of a country, maybe it's about 80 million. So the, the Kurdish is not just a number, they are a major number. 
and if they go in revolution, they can destroy Turkey easy. So what he's worried about, if ISIS lose, Kurdish win, and Kurdish in Iraq already established their own confederal government, and then the Kurdish here in Syria, they will have their own government, and say sooner or later they will establish one state, and then they will become a big power, and then the, Tur the Kurdish inside, inside Turkey, they will have their dream coming true, and they will make a revolution, and then Turkey will collapse. And actually, I believe Turkey will collapse sooner or later. Uh, so, so Turkey fighting ISIS is just a joke. It's a lie. The target is the Kurdish fighters because he don't he don't want the ISIS to lose for for very major reason that he depend on them to vanish the Kurdish. Now we go to something else. Turkey and Saudi Arabia and Qatar they sponsor Islamic militants groups in Syria. And this is one of them. It's called Jaish al-Islam. But the fact they are the same, they are the same as uh, ISIS. They are no better. They are the same. But supposedly those are the, the moderate Muslims and those who are uh, uh, McCain, he kissed them and he gave them a hug. If you, if you read the, the statement translated by the Muslim themselves about it, you will see they have the same way of talking about Kuffar, Mujahideen, killing the infidels. They are the same as ISIS exactly. But you know, let us say they are on the other side because they are fighting over power. However, all their arms, all their supply, all their clothes, all their food, all their salaries is given to them by USA, Qatar, Saudi Arabia. But yet, McCain, or Muhammad McCain, he considered them our best friends. And Muhammad uh, uh, Bill Clinton, he considered himself our best friend. And uh, uh, Muhammad Osama Obama, he, he said they are the only one who can establish a democratic state. Those are democratic state. Read their statement. Uh, and, you know, Muhammad Kerry and uh, uh, Ali, uh, J Jimmy Carter, uh, uh, all those names, they always come to us and say those are moderate Muslims. But the fact, they are not anything except they are terrorist organizations. So they are, they are the one who is sponsoring terrorists and they are saying to us, we fight terrorists. Uh, some naive Muslims, they are so excited to see this because they think we have an Islamic army. They don't know that those Islamic armies, they are going to destroy their countries. Actually, already those countries are destroyed. What, what is left of Syria? What is left? Nothing. What is left of, uh, of Libya? Nothing. What, what is left of Iraq? Those, what, what is left of Afghanistan? What is even exist in, in Pakistan? You know, those countries, you know, th th those people, they are self-destruction people. They destroy their own self and they think they are doing favor to God. Very naive, very stupid. Like this guy, he think he is doing jihad for Allah. Ak Allahu Akbar, those are the infidels. We will kill them. We will do beheading for them. We will shoot them in the head. And now Allah is happy, the, the God of thirsty blood. So, uh, uh, for me, I see Islam is collapsing. I believe ISIS is collapsing too, even though uh, Turkey is, is sponsoring them, the NATO is sponsoring everybody who is Islamic terrorist, uh, because at the end of the day, uh, the fire will eat itself, and they will become out of source, out of wood. And this is exactly what's happening. I don't have much time left, but I want you always to remember that those who they claim to be moderate Muslims does not exist. All Muslims believe in the Quran and the Quran teach to kill those who they are not Muslims and to hate them. Chapter 5 verse 51, take not Christians and Jews as your friends. Chapter 3 verse 28, you can lie to them in order to say to them, I am your friend, but you are not. So remember and don't be a fool. Christ is Lord, Islam is false.